But, and this side relates more to my field of expertise, social psychology, the O side, the newer side, didn't really come about until, well, I would argue the 30s is when it really early started to show up, 1930s. Newer than industrial, but this really didn't pick up in its own until after World War II. Oh, organizational psychology. Two major areas. How many of you have taken a course with a title like Organizational Behavior, Organizational Development? Just out of curiosity. Is it somewhere in your major field of study? No? Sometimes I've had a couple business people in here. Okay. Organizational development, because O stands for organizational, uses understanding to facilitate change interventions. Don't worry about these things. You might have heard of T groups. You might have heard of sensitivity training. Big push in the 80s, especially 90s, BC. Team building, that's a huge one still. We're not just talking about paintball excursions or rope courses or just getting together as you will with your classmates and groups to do things in class. People used to assume that work was work. Show of hands. How many of you in your existence now, I don't care what you call your job, it could be the thing that actually gives you money. Hopefully, you do have one of those that does do a reasonable job at helping you survive. You can call your student career your job. It is a job. How many of you have your job completely self-contained in your life? It doesn't affect the other areas of your existence. Now, this is one question the class gets right every time. Not a single person ever has work stay completely at work. It's the way it is. Your work affects life outside of it, right? Other way around too, am I wrong? You have a little snit with a roommate, your significant other, a family member, your pet. It's not when you pull into the work parking lot, you're like, oh, I'm at work. No. It carries over. So the O, oh, if you have to remember something, you can say, well, yeah, I'm looking at stuff like how we look at performance and individual differences. But you can also bring up kind of the, I think this is the more interesting side, fact that the O looks at context. The setting that work occurs in. Because how many of you have had the same type of job but in two different places? Let me ask you that. Like you've been a mechanic in two places, you've been working with have the exact same behaviors worked in the same way for the two jobs, even though they were the same and they're just different, right? Two completely different environments. I don't care who followed you. I don't care what your duties were. Things changed. Believe it or not, that was not an idea that was there in industrial psychology. Organizational came along and said, you guys aren't wrong, but let's look at the surrounding factors. It's not just putting a cog into a job. It's not putting a peg into a hole and that all workers are interchangeable. Yeah, working on a factory assembly line, as long as you have a minimum level of some basic skills, most people can do that job. But context still has a huge impact. So we're going to talk about that. Now, for those of you that have, are interested in psychology, the other courses, maybe you've heard of the Gestalt psychologists, maybe, maybe not. German word meaning a whole. You might have heard of the saying that the whole is more than the sum of its parts. Maybe, maybe not. Well, think of it like this. It's a jigsaw puzzle, right? There are the individual pieces. When you put them all together, it is something more than just cardboard. There is a photo, an image that was not there on any of the individual pieces, correct? It's like that. You might have a worker and a job, but when you put them together in a certain environment, something else comes up when all the factors come together. It's not just a simple matter of adding A and B and C. But when you put them together, there's some little extra thing that comes out. That's the idea. That your behavior in an organization is more than just simply saying, I have a worker, I have a job, and that'll do that. You're interested in any of this stuff? Work motivation, job attitudes, work redesign, making a position work for different times, different people, small groups and teams, leadership, decision making, communication, quality of work, 
work and family conflict, stress and well-being. We'll try to touch on as many of these topics as possible. But they all fall under the domain of context. For those of you that might not be interested in studying all of those things, or you might have specific things, these are two of the fields that have really come out of I.O. as a general field of study. And oddly enough, they both really, or I'm sorry, this factor, or this one here, 